That's for Tom Stolman. Wow, what a performance. Certainly looks like Britain's strongest man, that's for sure. Maybe he's going to grab it here in the final turn. Yes, he has. Wow, Tom Stolman is hot today. Tom Stoltman, and uh, off we go. Stoltman, those very long arms, he can just about get his hands round, you know. Six foot eight. The Scotsman now starting to tire, he's leading his back as far as he can. Is it going to be 60 metres? I think it is for Steele. This should be extraordinary. Ten years between these Stoltman boys. Three titles as well for Scotland go to Luke the older but my goodness is Tom on the far side catching him a quick but a tall man will he get a quick pick up no he doesn't not as quick as Luke who goes down though a fumble and a stumble and it's neck and neck at the halfway in fact Tom's just ahead but here comes Luke on the line again a fumble and Tom has got him right on the finish line your little brother has just handed it you how <laughs> does that feel it's not the first time, and I'm sure it won't be the last, so... Yeah, I've been hitting it hard with Luke, and you know, I'm just happy to be here and competing against Luke. You know, he's my idol, my role model, so it's good just to have a big brother to look up to like him. You're going to be the strongest man here today, right? I'm going to be the strongest man in the world, never mind here. Yeah. This will be interesting because Stoltman's got a, a tougher pickup in many ways, being taller, but he was faster away. But it's Steele, surprisingly, going through the years. Absolutely. Steele, just a picture of uh, composure. And the man they call the Albatross because of his uh, wingspan. Yeah, but these almost 300 pounds, these barrels, Danny. And uh, jogging with them. Certainly the height advantage makes it easier to drop in over the edge while as Smith. A uh, good eight inches shorter, we'll have to lift it at the end and every little second counts. The massive mitts as well, he just slapped it on and poured it up. Makes it a lot easier to grab these sacks. Well, 47.12 is the time to beat from his older brother, Luke Stoltman. Just starting to slow down a little bit now, Stoltman, no mistake there though. Well, look at the speed now, really chasing his brother, he's done it, you know. Great work from Paul Smith as well, but Stoltman takes it so far. I uh, tore my shoulder at Worlds last year, you know, and it also, I'm going to call it a day and just repair myself and get it checked out properly.
stand out here to prove a point that we are not to be forgotten just because we live in Scotland. We're here to do battle with the best of Britain, and that's what we're doing. Our next pair then, it's Tom Stoltman, the Inver Gordon Goliath, who is Scotland's strongest man at the moment, up against Mark Steele from Leeds in Yorkshire. And I don't believe it, Tom Stoltman has fluffed his start and he's done it again. He's gripped the handles all in the wrong position and steal 10.81 seconds 10.78 is what steel was trying to beat so he's come up just a little bit short of that as for tom stoltman though has he got this pick up right at all no he's he's too tired to pick it up again that's it 5.85 meters Number nine, then. Can he grind it out? Well, this should be very exciting to see Tom Stoltman commanding the pace at the moment. Not the kind of guy who normally gasses out either. Brunning looks, well, perhaps just a little tentative, nervous of getting too tired. Just over 30 seconds now. I think he's ahead of where Terry Hollins was. Maybe just a little behind where his brother Luke was, though. Maybe not. Maybe he's going to grab it here at the final turn. Yes, he has. By a couple of seconds, actually. Wow. Tom Stoltman is hot today. A penultimate pair. This basically a battle for third. And away he goes. Those size 19 feet on Tom Stoltman charging round he rips the first three off the ground like they're nothing Charley is struggling to keep up he's got to do his own game now because Tom Stoltman is on his own level entirely 18 seconds I've never seen him quicker at Britain's I said it at Britain, you know, people rip me off, but like I'm just coming back every year now and proving people wrong. I should have I should have won Britain's, but my mistake cost it. It's quick. Yeah, it was uh, the plan was a steady uh, duck walk and then use my uh, big feet to uh, get advantage and <laughs> Like, all my day, I'm confident. I've done a fast run in training, which I kept like a secret. But like, yeah, all my day, I think I could hit 18, 17, 18 seconds with a 200 case stone. You know. Stoltman the younger. This has been Scotland's strongest man. Of course, the reigning champion, Britain's strongest man, Adam Bishop. So a lot of pressure on Bishop right from the start. Oh, no. yeah, there's been some mind games going on, and I think Bish for a while was uh, falling to the pressure, but uh, he really gave himself a talking to in the last couple of weeks, and he looks sharp in the warm up. He's sharp there as well. He's just behind Tom, though. 
This is fantastic from both men. Fast time on the third from Stoltman, right behind him, Bishop. Both men had to press it out a little bit. Which, uh, could mean this fourth one's going to be tricky. 110 kilograms. Oh, Ooh. Tom using his legs beautifully. Well, Tom was just a second or so behind Luke's time on the fourth. So if he gets this fifth dumbbell, he's won the opening event. Yeah, Bish got the fourth. Very close. These two men head to head. It always seems to be Tom who relishes the chance of beating Big Brother more, you know. <laughs> yeah, this is good, although, oh dear, Luke struggling slightly at the 10 metre mark, while Tom rushes ahead. 11.56. Yeah. That Bishop takes it. He can certainly pull a deadlift, but it's very low. It's even lower than a normal bar. And of course, when you're what, up near six foot nine like he is, but he's going to blow past his brother here. I doubt he'll beat Hixie, though. Hixie is indeed a, a master at deadlifting. Well, these men, neck and neck. He's a little slow there, Graham. Tom capitalizing just nips ahead. Both men look pretty tired as well. That stiff bar. You take all the weight right from the get go. Well, it's Tom who's got the necessary energy to go to eight. Well, that was a great battle there between Hicks and Stoltman, both with eight reps. He's got the motivation to try and beat these boys who've uh, both done very well. And both men great at this, as we can see from that. Well, Tom Stoltman nearly stumbling after a very fast start. Let's be honest, Bishop needs to win this event, he really does. He's uh, traditionally not as good as Tom Stoltman in the stones. It'll be a big gamble to have to go into the stones behind him. Stoltman really just built for this event. Look at him chew up the ground with these strides. It's almost impossible for Bishop to keep up with him. A little error there from Bishop didn't help. 36 to beat. The speed of Stoltman, and he did that, didn't he? Did he get his hands off in time? I think he did, just yes. 35.01 seconds. Stoltman takes the loading race. As for Tom Stoltman, wow, what a performance. He certainly looks like Britain's strongest man, that's for sure, and he's going to have a lead going into his favourite event. Feels like a rerun of uh, last year, doesn't it? These two men shooting it out in the stones. Bishop did just enough that day. Big Tom won it, of course, on the stones, but uh, didn't win overall. Now, Bish, he needs to win this, and by some margin. Just two epic stone lifters here, and it comes down to the fifth. Oh, a slip from Stolman, but he still gets it up quickest. Bishop struggling, but manages. And Tom Stolman takes the Castle Stones at a brilliant time. 18.85 seconds. Yeah, look at that, quite right. It's uh, the opposite of last year. This time it's Tom Stoltman. It goes north of the border for the first time since 1995, I think, Danny. So the title goes to Scotland and this man, epic athlete, Tom Stoltman.